Hello everybody, Aki here, and I'm joined by... Me, Commander Rice. And, uh, today we're going to answer 40 anime questions. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, question number one. What is your favorite anime? My favorite anime? Uh... I don't know. Yeah. I have a lot of favorite animes. Like, it's hard to choose from. It's usually, like, in a category, right? Yeah. But if I had to choose one, it'd probably be Love Live or Steins Gate. Yeah. Steins Gate's good. Love Live. Rabu Sekai Rabu Moving on. Number two. Has an anime ever made you cry? Clanded. Mm hmm. Just the word. Clanded. <laughs> Clanid. Countless times. Yeah, I cried a lot during anime. I cried during Clanid a lot. I cried during Love Live. Um, Little Busters. Remember that night? I was like, it was like 3 in the morning. And I, I texted you, I was like, dude, this is so sick. I'm so, I'm so sad. Yeah. And also... I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my phone vibrate out in the middle of the night. Oh my... I was playing Yuiko's route at like two in the morning, <laughs> and then I had to share my feelings, so I just like texted everything to you. Uh, I'll sleep, man. And also, Dusk made him of amnesia or Tasogare Otome ex amnesia. Um, which anime made you laugh the hardest? Number three. Hmm. Uh. I probably laughed the hardest on MM, because <laughs> that anime is really ridiculous. I probably laughed the hardest on PSG, Penny Stocking, Card oh. Belts. Oh well, yeah, that's a good one too. Because it's just ridiculous, like, <laughs> the way that freaking Penny says, Fuck. Fuck. Ah, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, wow. I love that one, because it mixes both Western and Eastern humor. Uh, Sakura So also made me laugh hard. And Nishijo. Oh yeah. <laughs> when she gets bit by the dog. Oh yeah. And she freaking like, I'm a fire my laser. Oh yeah, and what the Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one's funny too. <laughs> the freaking. <laughs> <laughs> what? She was trying to like look like one of those gravier oh, yeah. models. <laughs> She has like the duck face. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> uh, <coughs> that made me laugh so hard. And then she like would go to her brother. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my god. Crazy. All right. <coughs> Question number four: If you could make a spin-off of any anime, what would it be? Not or doll. I already told you, a mix of Love Live, Idol Master, and Wake Up Girls. Wake Up Love Master. <laughs> Wake Up Love Master. <clears throat> List your top five animes. Um, Clanid, Little Busters, Steins Gate, Love Live, and there's so much more that I can't choose. Fifth one. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is, um, maybe Clanid. Mm-hmm. That's Return a good one. Lagan. Oh, that's a good one too. Kill a kill. I should have put that too. I like kill a kill. Yeah. And let's see what's the other one. It would be. Mega Kiru. It would be uh. <laughs> Orimo. Mm -hmm. Then, it's the fifth one. I don't know. I think of fifth one. Hmm. Yeah. Cause there's so much anime that I watched, and you can't really tell which one is good because there's so many good ones. Maybe the fifth one is free. Mm, free. <laughs> oh, so manly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on to question number six. List your top five anime OSTs. Uh, I had I put down Clanid, which has a really good OST. Uh, Attack on Titan has a really good one. <laughs> kill the kill has a really good one. Uh, um, the Garden of Words or uh, anything by Makoto Shinkai. 
And then my fifth one, I just said anything with Jun Maida because he's a genius. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. My favorite OST would be Clan if also. Illuminati. Yeah. <sighs> Shining. Anime. Can it? Does that have to be anime? Can it be like from a game? But but it's Japanese. No. I guess so. It it just says anime, but you can probably. Let's say out. from FF13. Those. Oh these. yeah, Final Fantasy is good. Anything from Final Fantasy is good, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just. <laughs> Moving on to the next question. Oh, the next question. Okay. Have you ever watched an entire anime in one sitting? I think I have. I have too. I watched, uh, I think I was like 12 or 13. I I watched Elf and Lied in one sitting, that really gory ass anime. Uh, Shikabane Hime, Love Live, Another, and Witchblade. I think I watched P PSG in one sitting. <laughs> I don't know why, it was just really. It's just funny, <laughs> It's it's one of those <coughs> unique ones out there. And uh, let's see what else. You I don't know anything else. Think... <clears throat> no. All right then, let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Who is your favorite anime character? My favorite anime character. It would be <clears throat> Katori Minami from my Love Live. Umida. <laughs> Umi of course, mine is my favorite is obviously Umi, but I also like uh, Maki Se from uh, Steins Gate and Tenryu from Kan Kole. Wait, the anime is airing this season, right? For Kan Kole? I think so, but mine is Shima Kazu, cause like oh, and and I love uh, Nyaruko. Nyaruko. Yes, yes, and <laughs> Kirina. <laughs> those That's why you, you have those figurines. Yes. You, you couldn't get a Kotori one because she sold out. <laughs> she sold out where I can't find her at all, man. <coughs> yeah, because I went up to the vendor. I was like, uh, do you have Umi? And then he shows me two of them. And then he said that Honoka and Kotori were already sold out in the first day. I was like, god damn. Ah, why? Why? Because Kotori has that moe factor that dominates all. Hey. <laughs> uh, question number nine. Name an anime character you absolutely hate. You already know who I hate. We both hate. <laughs> we both hate Rei Miyamoto just... so much. I don't know anyone else. I mean, there's probably like some villains that were really annoying that I hated, but I just can't remember their name. Which means they're not important. But Ray, yeah. Ray sticks in there first thing. Because we we already explained this in Lich. Left for Dead. <laughs> yes. So they're they're gonna go have to watch that video. Uh, okay, question number ten: Which three animes would you most recommend? Um, I'm gonna avoid the like big shonen animes like Naruto and all that. And watch Naruto. <laughs> watch <Game> Naruto. <laughs> Brought to you by Randy Savage, bringing you Naruto. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, normally I probably wouldn't recommend this to, like, an anime veteran like us. But if it's someone new, I would recommend Clanid, Steins Gate, or Attack on Titan. Mm hmm. Attack on Titan would be a good choice. Yeah, cause like, a lot of new pe a lot of people who are coming into anime started with Attack on Titan last around the past year. Mhm. Mm but if you are a seasoned veteran of anime, you might want to watch something else. You know? Something else, maybe. You know, you, maybe you've probably already seen it, so I can't exactly recommend it if you already seen <laughs> it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next question. What is your favorite moe anime? I, I didn't have an answer to this one. Probably be like, I don't know. 
if you want Moe, you probably want to watch Precure or something. Yeah, Precure or like... Really juicy stuff. Madoka Magica. No, I'm kidding. That's actually pretty dark. It is dark. <laughs> uh, okay. What is your favorite romance anime? <clears throat> One anime is coming to my head, but like, I can't remember. Oh, is it new? But I love this so much. Is it new? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's pretty old. Is it one of the ones that Douchebag Chocolat reviewed in his Should You Watch? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it, it's like, it's really vague. You just just <laughs> tell me about it. I might know. Hold on. Like, I feel it. Excuse can't you. can see it. <laughs> you can feel it, but you can't see it. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> I can't see it. Okay, well, while you're thinking, I'll I'll say mine. Uh, I like Tonari no Kaibutsukun, which is also called My Little Monster. It's pretty interesting. Or uh, Amagami SS and SS+. Plus. Mm. Moe... Moe bombed? Was that it? <clears throat> oh, Moe death. There we go. I remember now. My way die. My way death because of Sai Nakata. Did you get it yet? No, oh, I'm gonna have to look at these lists from uh, different websites. Let's see. Sorry. It's like. Uh, can you describe it or do you just don't remember <laughs> it? I don't remember, but I feel it. <laughs> 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 that's that's no it. better than not remembering it. <laughs> it's probably like some harem anime. I think so. It's probably. Ah ah, there. Oh wait, it was pretty recent. Ah, not long time ago. What is it? It was Golden Time. Oh yeah, Golden Time. That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, it was about this dude who lost his uh, memory. His Thank memory. You. I don't, I don't think I finished that. Yeah, I think I did. I only watched like two episode ten, I think, and then I just forgot about it. I read the manga. That's loud as hell. I am so sorry. <laughs> My future changed. You got an email. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh. What is your favorite comedy anime? Uh, M.M., Sakura So, and Nichijo, or any slapstick anime humor. Yeah, those. I would recommend those. And PSG, of course. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, my friend just... Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore him. Uh, what is your favorite action anime? Kill or Kill. Yeah, probably Kill or Kill, but, uh... What I put down, I said, like, there's too many to choose from. Like, I liked Attack on Titan, but what stopped it from being my favorite was that the story slowed down so much once the Titans attacked, which isn't bad, but I would have preferred a little more pacing. Because, like, what, it took 10 episodes to seal up the hole? Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Yep. No, uh, more than that, actually. Let's see. Kill or kill... There's Kill Kill gone. Oh. Akame ga Kiru is good. The yeah, that's pretty recent. Out. Yeah. New this uh, season. <clears throat> Blackrock Shooters. How was uh, Horizon of the Middle of Nowhere? Was that just ecchi or was that any good? It was actually kind of both. Oh, okay. It was ecchi and had action. I'm like looking through my room, seeing if there's anything else. Um, what else can I say? Uh, Blood <clears throat> Plus is good. Yes. Tokyo Gal, the new one's coming out. It's pretty good. Tokyo Ghoul? Ghoul Gao. Or Esper? I don't know. Good. Good. Fate stays good too. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what is your favorite harem anime? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My favorite harem anime. What is Actually, it? She does a lot of them. <laughs> There's a lot of harem anime. <laughs> personally, personally, I'm like not really that big a fan of harem anime because it lacks story. And it doesn't. If you want a harem anime? <laughs> that would suggest To Love Rue. To Love Rue. I never got to watching that. Is it good? 
Uh, I only watched like the first season, mm. but I didn't uh, watch Darkness. Hmm. I, I I don't really like them because it it lacks story and they never finish in a satisfying way. So, uh, I mostly <laughs> just <laughs> I basically just watch it for the comedy. And the edgy. But if I had to choose one, it'd probably be Infinite Stratos, because yeah, I love the characters. It's... What is your favorite ecchi anime? Oh my god, this number sixteen. <laughs> High the School heck? of the Dead or Witchblade? That's mine. Witchblade, man. If you just want boobs and see nipples and all that, and... dude, Witchblade was awesome. It's more <laughs> than just boobs. <laughs> uh, ecchi anime would probably be uh, Ikitosen. Oh, Ikitosen. That one. That one's where the the clothes explode once you get punched. <laughs> Tells you. <laughs> and I watched it. Like, Whoa! The clothes exploded. Oh my god! It's not because I like boobs, but it's because it happened. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I think Witchblade made me cry at the end. I never really watched Witchblade. I liked I it. I tried to, but you know. <laughs> what is your favorite mech anime? Um, I would, I would say Gundam, but I'm gonna avoid it and say Buddy Complex, which is pretty new. Uh, what is your favorite drama anime? I said anything by Key, like Clanid, Little Busters, Air, mm -hmm. all those. Those are really good for drama. Yep. Yeah. What is your favorite slice of life anime? Slice of life would be Clanid. I just said K-On, because I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> kind of does have... Uh, well, it it kind of does. Like, the earlier episodes it does, but it gets more story-driven. Yeah. Uh, your favorite adventure anime. I had trouble with this one, because I can't really define adventure. That would be, like, sour something. I, I said Spice and Wolf. Adventure. I like adventure. Spice and Wolf. That was really good. Oh, his special was good. I like that too. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Question number 21. What is the first anime you ever saw? Mine was, uh, DBZ. Yeah. Uh, and then, I think it was DBZ, unless it was Ghost in the Show. Because I was introduced to, like, anime from my uncle. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> you told me that. Uh, he had like a bunch of gun. I was also introduced but, to Gundam also. Mm. So I started pretty early with all those like mature type animes. Yeah, in terms of my first anime that I like physically saw, it would probably be Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, or Sailor Moon. But like, if we are talking about an anime that I consciously watched, it would be Bleach. I watched Naruto back then, and then I stopped <laughs> when she pooned in like the first season of she pooned in. Yeah, because no one subbed it, so you couldn't find it online until like a I year just got later. Really tired. <laughs> I'm like, ah. yeah, like I started watching Bleach when I was eleven, and like I remember it specifically because we came home late one night, and I just turned on the TV, and my being a little kid, my my channel was like set to Cartoon Network. And so on on air was like Toonami. You remember Toonami, right? It came back now. I love that. It kind of yeah, sucked it now. It came back in um, Adult Swim right now. Yeah. And then uh, I remember it was that episode. It was one of the earlier episodes where uh, Orihime, the, the orange haired girl with the big breast, she got her hair clips for the first time. Just big boobs. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. You get to have a harem of six anime characters of your choice. Who do you choose? Um, my Umi, Nozomi, Tenryu, Makise, and uh. No, I have two more. Kyo Fujibashi from Clanid, and then Seiko Bushijima. Wow. I don't even think about that. <laughs> if you could have six people, there's so many people. Right. But I would say one of out of all of them would probably be Katori. 
Tori. Ryuko uh, Satsuki. <laughs> <laughs> Have the sisters. <clears throat> oh, I would add Shimakaze from Contact Punch. Oh, no, Don't judge me. Shimakaze. Oh, she's all over. I mean, you got two there. You need four more. Otago from Content Collection. Cause she's got big boobs. Ba ba ka ba. Ba ba ka ba. Alright, you got three more. You should probably add Kirino in there. And Niarko. So that makes five. You just need one What's more. What's the last one? Umida. <clears throat> nah. <laughs> Nico. Nico B. Um, let's see, what, uh, who, uh, I'm trying to think of an anime that you really liked. I like Bento. <laughs> bento? If you ever watched it. Like, it's about, like, like um... Like the food Bento, or? The anime Bento. <laughs> it's like... It's around, like, a supermarket where they had to fight for Bentos. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was funny. Wait, is it that, isn't it that one by Key? With like, yeah. That that had the uh, K on animation. Uh, I think so. I don't. I don't know. He had like a blonde haired chick. I probably don't remember. Okay. <laughs> Let's move on to question number twenty three here. What is uh What is the most times you've rewatched an anime? I don't really rewatch animes. Well. I tried to uh, rewatch Air Gear because I like loved it a lot. I wonder if they mean like rewatched it like <coughs> entirely or like rewatched a uh, number of episodes. It's a number of episodes or certain episodes. Yeah, I probably did that. Yeah, because I watched like Love Live three times the first season. <laughs> Name one anime you wish everyone would watch. Let's try to avoid any popular anime. Boku no no. Don't even do it. Don't lead them the wrong way. <laughs> Don't do it. I'd recommend you. You? You all. You all. Two. Two. Watch. Watch. Boku. No. <laughs> um, let's see. I think everyone should watch Tasogare Otome X Amnesia. That was that was that one series, like I think it came out the winter two years ago. And it's about Yuko who is a ghost and she's in love with this living guy. And it sounds very cliche and weird. But it's pretty funny and has pretty good art. And the plot gets deeper. And I cried at the end. Man. The tears are rolling. Whatever I said, people should watch Akuno Hana. <laughs> <laughs> that freaking anime with the weird glasses girl. <laughs> and those really weird faces. <laughs> freaking flowers of evil. Oh my god, that one is so messed up. I don't like that retro. What is it called? Retroscope? Retrospect? Uh, something like that. Yeah. What is an anime you regretted watching? Well, I, I don't think I ever regretted watching an anime. I just usually drop them. Me too. Cause it, it, I'm not like, oh, why did I even watch this anime? No, I've never, I never had that thought. None. You get to have one anime character as your waifu slash husband, husbando, in real life. Who do you choose? Husbando. Husbando. Hmm. Hmm. Someone from Free. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just watched that movie recently. <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, um, everyone knows who my waifu will be. Umi, 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 umi. Umi 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 You're done. Number twenty-seven. Which anime character are you most like? I most like. Yeah. I would say. 
is Kirino a bit? Because she doesn't really like to express her otaku side. That's how I am sometimes when mm. I am in yeah, life. Cool. I guess. I couldn't decide, so I'm going to let my viewers decide. Based on what I'm about to say, I tend to be very open, forgiving, energetic. We're both chivalrous. We're both very gentlemanlike towards women. And relaxed. I'm like Sasuke. Sasuke! No. I must get revenge! <laughs> no. I must avenge no. my family! Now I must avenge my brother! <laughs> I have come to avenge the death of my brother! <laughs> His brother didn't even die. I, I haven't kept up ever since, like... I don't even know where they are right now. Oh, I They're... remember you just told me that freaking Naruto is a reincarnation of Asura, which is OP. Yeah. Uh, they left off, um, I read it, like, last week, I think, the recent chapters. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's her name? Kaguya, which is, like, one of the, uh, most powerfulest, I guess, oh, the good. goddess, who actually ate the fruit, forbidden fruit from the Ten Tails QB. Ah, uh, she came, uh, what was it? There's Ten Tails now? Yeah, this is Ten Tails. What the fuck? Who was it? What's his name again? Amadara, who uh, actually uh, brought back Kaguya. Mm -hmm. And now, him and Kaguya are trying to like freaking destroy the world as their intentional goal to make world peace. So they want to cleanse the world by destroying the world. And yeah, basically. That That's just like any other mythological story ever made. Yeah. <laughs> Right, question number 28. Do you watch a new anime because you think it will be good or because it's popular? I, I just watch it because I think it'll be good, funny, or interesting. I just watch it because it's appealing to the eye. It's appealing <laughs> to the eye. Dude. Like, I don't really watch the anime if someone says it's popular. Like, I'll do my research and, like, watch trailers or look at pictures. I do the same. Like, I remember... <laughs> I watched Attack on Titan, but it was, it wasn't because it was popular, but I saw the first episode, and it was, like, during the season it was airing for the first time. And, like, that first episode where the mom gets eaten, that was intense. Oh, yeah, that episode. Number 29, has an anime's fan base ever, want, ever made you hesitant to watch an anime? Boku no, no. <laughs> what? Has an anime's fan base ever made you hesitant to watch an anime? I say no. I don't really care about fan bases. Like if I like the anime, I like it. <laughs> That's how I am. <laughs> I like it, then I go watch another one. <laughs> right? Uh, we got That's ten more questions. We can do this. How many anime episodes is ideal for you? I say 12 with some OVAs, but my limit is, like, around the 20s. Uh, yeah, 12, 13, maybe 15 episodes. But then, like, 20s, or maybe 30s, are, like, my limit. Yeah. Uh, have you ever watched an anime with over 23 episodes? Uh, let's see. There was Kill a Kill, uh, Mirai Nikki, and a few others I don't really remember. Uh, off the top of my head, I guess I could say Naruto, cause you know I went. <laughs> I was a pretty uh hardcore fan until I stopped. Yeah, I don't want to count those, cause there's another question for that. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, I think we're done with that question, are we? Mm hmm. All right. Number 32, if you can make a game for an anime of your choice, what would it be and why? <clears throat> hmm, let's see. There's already a game for Love Live. There's already a game for Attack on Titan. Yeah. Uh, I would say something for Kill a Kill, maybe. Or, uh, like, some kind of co-op game for High School of the Dead. Because <laughs> that would be pretty cool. I mean, just play it with your friends and, like, what can be more fun playing as Seiko killing zombies? Or like that that gun dude who uses his uh his nail gun. 
what's his name again? I don't, I don't know. know. What's his name I don't again? know. It starts with an H. I know for sure. Hiro. Hirano. Hiro. Hirano. Hirano. Haruno. Ha. Ha. No. <laughs> Would you ever watch an anime with over a hundred episodes? Ideally, no. The only animes that I've ever watched past, and past doesn't mean finished, are Dragon Ball Z, Bleach, Naruto, and Naruto Shippuden. That's it. I never really got into One Piece. Same. Z- I never. I tried to get into One Piece. Only like watch like maybe it's the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> like I would. I would just watch it like. On the weekends when, like, you know how being the culture we are, we would go to someone's house and then our parents would stay there until, like, t- 2 in the morning before leaving. Yeah. And, like, all you had to do, it was, like, the downtime. The kids always had the TV on. It was always on Toonami. That's when I would watch One Piece. They always play late, <laughs> late at night. Right. It's not on prime time. Nope. Okay, 34, have you ever watched an anime only because you liked a specific character? Um, sometimes I do that. Uh, I wanted to watch Akame Gakiru because I liked Akame, but I ended up liking the anime for more than her. Well, same with me. But if I... But that was only because I was recommended by uh, my cousin. Yeah, and I was recommended by you. Um, but if if we're sticking to the basis of the question, it'd probably be... Well, the only one I can think of is uh, Infinite Stratos Season 2, because Lara is my favorite character. And they, like, destroyed everything in that season. Uh, number 35, have you ever dropped an anime? If so, why? Have I ever dropped an anime? <laughs> Off the top of my head, I don't think so, cause I'm the u- the one who usually like just watches it out of boredom. <laughs> yeah, um, I've dropped a few anime, but it's mostly because I forget about them or because I'm too busy. But it's more unconsciously, I guess. Or usually, I would probably drop the anime because I want to read the manga because they yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're longer. They're more upstate. But, like, the only anime that I can think of that I consciously dropped was uh, Corpse Party Tortured Souls. I mean, it was... I I like the animation style and the voice actor for Ayumi, who was Imai Asami, who's the voice actor for Makisei Kurisu from uh, Steins Gate and Kisaragi Chihaya from Idolmaster. But that's about it. I do the musta. Whew, this is gonna be a long one. In your opinion, what makes a good anime? What makes a good anime? Good story. Mm-hmm. What I said, like, the most important thing to me has to be story and character development. Yep. And then. It, it can't just be that. It also needs, like, the bonuses, like, the animation style has to be good, soundtrack, and voice acting. So that like really brings out the uh, the anime's full potential, I guess. The art, even the environment, mm-hmm. the anime characters are around has to be pleasing to the eye. You got to get yes. a good soundtrack <clears throat> to uh, help with those emotional moments, and you have to get good voice acting because you can't like have some boring person play someone energetic like Kirino, right? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine? <laughs> Just a monotone Kirino. And plus, probably should add, they should have probably um com- comedic relief. Yeah, some comedic relief sometimes. But you know, it doesn't have to be all It doesn't be excessive. <laughs> it doesn't have to be excessive. Just at the right time. Like when they're on their downtime, not like when they're in, when they're in the middle of action, I guess. I don't like when animes have fillers. Oh my god, fillers are so annoying. Those are one of the reasons why I stopped watching those like over 100 episode animes like bleach yeah bleach like- literally like bleach would go like five episodes of the main story and then 20 episodes of filler three episodes of the main story then another filler so I, I just got tired of it <laughs> 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 uh, 
Yeah, like if you looked at Clanid, um, the story was great. It shows good character development, but it also has good animation quality. So you know you have something good to look at, unlike the Flowers of Evil. Oh God! <laughs> it has a great soundtrack, obviously, with Jun Maida, who's the genius, and the voice acting is good. So it really brings out the emotion and personality, like that one moment in After Story where little Ushio was looking for her toy that she lost in the fields, and she really wanted to cry. And you remember this, right? That one scene? Yeah. Where she's like, the only places I can cry are in the bathroom in daddy's arms. And that broke me down. (laughs) The (laughs) feels. Name a popular anime you love. Kill a kill. Kill a kill. Kill a kill. Kill a kill. You know, it's got unique art style. It's got great action scenes. It's funny. Pretty good story. Not the best, but good story. And it's overall fun to watch. Name a popular anime you hate. Hmm. I don't think I really hate an anime. Me neither. But I do. I guess I don't really like the influence of the uh, shonen animes on the anime industry. What I mean is like Naruto and One Piece. Like, I don't think that they're bad or that they're a horrible anime, but I just prefer to watch the animes that are often overlooked. These are the animes with a lot of fan bases and all that. I guess I don't know. <laughs> like like a crap load, like for instance Naruto. A bunch of Narutards. Like, holy crap! <laughs> oh my god, Weibo drawings. <laughs> Remember that one you showed me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I get the feeling of Weibo on this one. <laughs> you can feel it. You can really game. feel it. Stick figures and then really spiky hair. Indeed. And like the most stereotypical Japanese names that they can come up with. Sakura. Okay. <laughs> we have two more. Okay. Uh, is there an anime you wish was more popular? Um. I would say the Dusk Maiden of Amnesia. I don't think many people watch that. In, as compared to like bigger stuff. What's up? Bo 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 bo. Ah, bo 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 bo. Bo 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 bo. Nose hairs of justice. <laughs> the nose hairs of justice with the golden afro. <sighs> Do you have any anime you wish was more popular? Do I wish was more popular? Yes. Not that I can think of. Mm, okay. Okay. Let's see, uh, the last question. Thoughts on live-action adaptions? You know, someone once said too much of something good is a bad thing. Which describes how I feel for live-action adaptions. Like the Dragon Ball Z adaption? What was it? Dragon (laughs) Dragon Ball Evolution? Dude, that thing sucked so badly. Oh Oh my god. Goku doesn't go to school? Goku, Goku's not white. <laughs> I guess you could consider him probably Avatar. Yeah, the, the the Avatar one was bad too. It was horrible, man. Oh my god. Like Aang, didn't really look Asian. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like I don't even know what he looked like. He looked like a mixture. He could be half, but not fully. His eyes were too big. <laughs> His eyes were too big. And like Zuko was, he was, he was too dark skinned. He didn't have the ponytail. He didn't even have like the correct scar on his face. Well, Zuko is Asian. He's Indian. He looks Indian. Well, well, whatever. But that (laughs) CG was okay, but 
it was kind of ridiculous. Because, like, I remember there was this scene where, like, it was a bunch of earthbenders, and there was, like, ten of them in a line, and they did their their little earthbending, and, like, a small stone just floated across. <laughs> a little ass stone. <laughs> a tiny little stone just flies across the screen. Usually I would hate uh, live action live action adaptions would probably be from the western countries yeah live action through like western is good but like if you're gonna like live action something like dragon ball z or attack on titan which like rely heavily on cg images and complex movements i don't think that that works only works on i'm not trying to say offend anybody like from like america and all the canada i'm just saying that the Asian people, they know how to do the live action because they kind of look like them. Yeah. Because, like, in anime, you see the facial features, like how they were drawn. They're mm-hmm. more around their chin. Mm-hmm. With the Westerners, they're more, like, chiseled. They're more so broad. Broad. Because I saw um, they're making a Attack on Titan live action. Yeah. One, I think it's coming out next year. I mean, they could, Asians could pull it off. I know it's probably some American people could pull it off, too. But it's not just, like, the majority of them can. Not even the majority of Asian people can even. Yeah. Just, like, the select few who can. I mean, like, there's there's those times when you gotta realize, like, do I want to westernize this movie in my way or in the way of the fans? Because, okay, Dragon Ball Evolution was completely just horrible. Yeah, like I, I I I cannot forgive that. I was disappointed. Did Goku even fly? I don't I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Bulma didn't have blue hair. She had a streak of blue in her black hair. <laughs> and then she freaking like kissed Yamcha. <laughs> I, know. I mean, I know in the anime they went out for a bit. But she belongs to Vegeta. <laughs> so ugly. <laughs> That's all the questions, though. So, uh, thanks for joining me, Commando. Uh, you're welcome. And uh, hopefully we got some good reactions. Wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what? Uh, I said way, not wait. Oh. <laughs> Hugh, 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 freaking Tara. And uh, yeah, I'll probably like leave the questions in the description if anyone wants to answer them themselves. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining us and uh, hearing how we answer these questions. Uh, follow us on any of our social media sites. We just made a Tumblr. Yeah. And I got an email. We just made a Tumblr, and we're we're literally just spamming a bunch of another email. We're, we're literally spamming just a bunch of anime pictures and whatever we find funny, especially... <laughs> <laughs> just, today. <laughs> just today. Oh, like, freaking, like, an hour ago, before we started recording this. Should I put it in the video? <laughs> if, you, if your <laughs> subscribers don't freak out about it or something. Okay, guys. I'm warning you now, if you don't want to see this, unsubscribe. But we're, <laughs> we're gonna describe it first, okay? Think of a horse. Mask. No, no, no. Think, think of a loli first, okay? In a pink dress, okay? A little loli, a little girl, pink dress. It's like flashy background. With like a uh, a raving background. There's like black and white going all over the place. All right. Now I'll put a horse mask on her, okay? And then imagine she put her fist down her sh- her her dress. That's my phone. Her fist oh. in her dress. And then just like, if you can do like, probably like an uppercut hook. But like, it just stays in midair. She's taking a call, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I, I was taking a call. What did you say? Imagined. <laughs> like that lolly putting her fist down her dress. Yeah, like putting the fist down her dress and then poking it out, okay? Poking it out with like an uppercut hook like, in like, midair. Like like you're b-boying, okay? And you're gonna do a baby freeze 
and you, you stick your elbow at your tummy and then your hand out. I'm gonna just flash it and then where that that's where the video is gonna end. I'm just gonna flash it. And that's that's where it's gonna end. So uh yeah, thanks for sitting down and <laughs> listening to these questions, uh follow our social media sites. And uh, aside from that, this has been Aki and Commando. Hi. Have a great day and remember to always stay safe.